The following video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether you need a domain, website, or even an online store, make it with Squarespace. The iPod Touch 6th generation was quietly released in mid-2015, much to the surprise of pretty much everyone. Even back then, people thought the iPod Touch line was practically dead, but Apple apparently had other ideas. And now here we are, four years later in 2019, and the iPod Touch 6 is still chugging along and is even being sold by Apple on their website. Hey, how's it going? I'm Josh from 91 Tech, and today we're going to be talking about the iPod Touch 6th generation generation. Is it still worth buying in 2019? <laughs> As someone who bought the iPod 6 at launch, I can honestly say that this is a pretty slick, well-built device. It's super slim and light, almost magically so, and is impressive hardware-wise considering the size. At least it was back in 2015, but today in 2019 it's definitely starting to feel its age. As impressive as this was in 2015, the form factor was even cooler in 2012 when the iPod 5 came out. The iPod 6 is essentially the same as the iPod 5, but faster, and it also has a slightly better camera, and slightly different colors. The iPod 6 was always kind of a half-baked update to the lineup, but it didn't really matter because it was all that was needed at the time. But this isn't 2012 or 2015 anymore, it's 2019, four years since the iPod 6 was released. So what's happening? Is Apple going to make a new one? Short answer? Maybe. Slightly longer answer? Either Apple will make a new iPod or discontinue the last one. The iPod 6 has the same processor as the iPhone 6, but with a lower or clock speed, it's starting to get slow. It probably shouldn't be able to run iOS 13, and if it does, it'll probably do so poorly. It's very possible that Apple makes the iPod 7 and announces it in June at WWDC 19. We've heard word that there may be hardware announced anyway, so it would make sense. We were hoping for a new iPod at the March event, but unfortunately, there wasn't one. However, there was a new iPad mini, something else that also wasn't updated since 2015. So, that's a good sign that Apple might do something this year. So to answer the question of whether the iPod 6 is worth buying anymore, no it's not. Even buying one used probably isn't a great option as support will either be dropped for this year or next. Mind you, it's still usable on iOS 12, but it's always nice to have the latest software available if possible, especially if you're not someone who's super familiar with iOS devices. If you just need a device for music, I know, an iPod for music is kind of crazy, that's a different situation. In that case, I suppose it could be worth it, but I'd recommend getting it used as Apple is kind of over charging for them right now. 200 bucks isn't horrible, but I mean you can get an iPhone SC for less than that on eBay, and the SC will be a way better device. However, if you really just want it for music and you don't mind getting an outdated device and slightly overpaying, the iPod is a great music player for the car or whatever. It does have a headphone jack, which is crazy. That being said, for almost any other use case, I'd recommend a different device. The iPad or iPad mini are awesome if you want something for games. If you want a device for a kid that's not quite a phone, I'd recommend just buying an older iPhone and popping in an unactivated SIM card. It will basically act as an iPod, but be faster and have a better battery. But before you go and do that, I'd wait until June to make sure another iPod isn't released. It's also possible one could come out in September, but that seems very unlikely, in all honesty. But forget about all this, let's talk about the iPod 6 and how it performs as of now, in case you are still interested. As mentioned before, it's super thin and light and has an aluminum body. The screen is fairly small at 4 inches, and the home button does doesn't have Touch ID. This is actually the last device Apple still sells with the classic home button, so that's kind of neat. We have a headphone jack, as mentioned before, which is nice, as well as a lightning port. There's a selfie and rear camera, with neither being particularly good. The back sensor has 8 megapixels and can film up to 1080p video. The front camera has 1.2 megapixels and is going to take some gnarly looking selfies. What am I saying? This device is definitely not worth using as a secondary camera. Literally any smartphone from the last four years will take better photos and you shouldn't even consider using this iPod for that. That being said, here's a few photo examples for you to see for yourself. This is being filmed on the iPod Touch 6th generation, and it just looks bad. 
honestly. It's just not good. As mentioned before, the performance is definitely lackluster with the 6th generation iPod Touch. Not to say it's unusable, but it's definitely not optimal even on iOS 12. Most games and apps will run fine, but you're just going to have a lot of random spots of lag here and there, and you wouldn't experience that on a newer device. You can do most things, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, Netflix, etc, etc. They'll all work, they're just not going to work as well as they should. There's also the question of iOS 13. The iPod's A8 processor is underclocked, making it less powerful than the iPhone 6, a phone that itself may not even get iOS 13. If Apple follows patterns, the iPhone 6 will get iOS 13, but realistically, it probably shouldn't. It isn't that much faster than the 5S, and the 5S definitely won't get 13, so we'll see what happens there. Could be that only the 6S and better gets iOS 13. Look, I'll be honest, you shouldn't buy the iPod 6 unless you're getting it used or on sale. It does have its uses, but until Apple hopefully upgrades it, I would avoid it for now. Not to say if you have an iPod right now, you need to immediately upgrade because you don't, and also there's actually really nothing to upgrade to. The iPod's fine as is on iOS 12 right now, and you can do almost anything. I just don't think it's worth the price of admission at 200 bucks for the 32 gigabyte model. You can buy an iPhone SE used for as low as like 100 bucks on eBay, and that would be a much, much better deal in my opinion, even if you don't use the SE as a phone. Overall, the iPod 6 doesn't run horribly in 2019, you just shouldn't buy it. Squarespace is an all-online platform with award-winning customer service that allows you to create gorgeous professional websites easier than ever. With an unending number of templates and a simple but powerful online editor, you never have to update or install anything. Just go to squarespace.com 91tech and you can immediately start building your site. Whatever it is you need, it's never been more simple than to make it with Squarespace. Make sure you click that link in the description and enter promo code 91tech for a free trial and 10% off your first purchase. And with that, I think I'm pretty much done here. Short one for you today, but there isn't a lot to say. I always liked the iPod Touch, and I really wish Apple would give it an upgrade. Who knows, maybe they will later this year, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Should Apple upgrade the iPod Touch, or just discontinue it altogether? If you found this video helpful or interesting, maybe hit that like button, and consider subscribing for more content just like this. You can follow me over on Twitter and Instagram at 91 underscore tech if you want to hear the occasional ramblings of someone dying from university, and make sure if you have any interest in building a website, you use the link below to get 10% off your first purchase with Squarespace. With that all being said, I'm Josh from 91Tech, thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time.